So this is my room, this is the room I've been living in for my second year at university and it is a shared bathroom accommodation between 10 people which means that there are two bedrooms on the bottom floor, a bathroom and the kitchen, four bedrooms on the first floor with a bathroom and a shower and four bedrooms on the top floor which is where I am, hence the skylight, with a bath. So just on the back of my door I've got these star hangers to put some of my hoodies up and then these are the coat hangers that came with the room that I put my coats and bags with and just underneath that I have my handbag, my bin on top of a shoe box that I might use to take my shoes home with and my swim kit. Next to that I have this set of drawers which I bought with me and didn't come with the room and on top of this set of drawers I just keep my helmet for my bike necklaces that I use quite often, bobby pins and some push pins for the pin board and in these set of drawers in the first one we have all the different types of tea both loose leaf tea and tea bag tea that I keep because I love me some tea. The second drawer is hair stuff so hair dryer, wig, some hairspray and then also in this is my tea flask because it didn't fit in the tea drawer. Then in this drawer I've just got miscellaneous stuff like accessories and deodorants, gloves and a little sewing kit and glasses cleaner, that sort of thing. And in the bottom drawer is more sort of medical stuff, tablets and vitamins that I... Then moving on from those drawers I have this radiator which I've currently got a towel on top, my wash bags with all my <laughs> laundry in it. And this pin board, we're not allowed to blue tack things to the walls so they give us pin boards instead and I've just got birthday cards, some Guardians of the Galaxy posters, Doctor Who, Loki and Sherlock posters hidden underneath this word bank I made for my revision so I've got some revision pinned on it as well, some cards that my friends have given me, my calendar because they always need my calendar and this exam paper which I no longer need now that I've done that exam. Moving along from there, we've got our sink. We share the toilets, but we each have our own individual sink in our own rooms to do our toiletry stuff. I've got this step here, which I need to be able to open my window because I can't reach it without standing on the step and also to reach my electronic toothbrush, which hides up there because the plug for it is up high. I've got all my toiletry stuff, my suitcase ready to bring all my clothes home for when I come home, although I'll probably already be home when this comes out. 
a cloth hanger, my sink with just more toiletries in it, the pot I use for my paintbrush water. We also have a mirror, all right? And on this mirror, a little light, which I don't think I have ever used. And then up here, I've got more birthday cards. I've got my police box, because I'm obsessed with Doctor Who. Some school lights. I've also got some fairy lights on my pin board, but you don't really see them unless it's night time. No, nope, can't. Then this is my wardrobe. I've got on it hangers of clothes that are currently in the wash basket, so can't be hung up. So we'll open it up. There's all my clothes. We've also got a set of drawers in it, which you can pull out or leave in. I left them in to give me more space. And I've got sports gear, tops and bottoms. As you can see, I don't like to fold things. I'm not the neatest person when it comes to folding clothes, but I have got my wardrobe roughly organized by color. So starting with white, then into black and white, I have a lot of black pinky, purpley, into reddish brown, into denim and blue, and into some odd bits of green. And moving away from my wardrobe, I have my desk and my bookshelf. We get given a spinny chair, and underneath my desk, I've got my clothes off to dry my clothes. Alongside my desk, I have my black pens that I use very often. All my brush pens are in this bag. This is just all my other <laughs> stationery. So all point paper made in medium and fine Sabido gel pens and mechanical pencils, paper make flare pens. These are all crayons that come with their own tins. That is a bag full of sticky notes. That is some paper chase, colorful squares, Crayola super tips. And then all my Sabido highlighters are here because all my mild liners are there. Folder organizer and I've got all the notebooks I've been using for this term in there. That is just a book I borrowed from the library because I need it. Alongside my desk, I keep my laptop, my reading journal and my bullet journal are currently out as long well as a cup of tea. The books I have read already for the reading challenge, some more just ordinary pens to use for scribbling down things, but not really for making notes. Whiteboard pens, whiteboards, some magazines, important things that I keep out like keys and these are bits and pieces for dissertation reading. Then up here I have my bookshelf and I keep mugs and pennies on my bookshelf as well but you'll see that in my bookshelf top. In this top drawer I have washi tapes and notebooks and other pieces of stationery that I use quite a lot such as my glue stick. In the second drawer I have things like makeup and my DS and DS games and my running water bottle, DS charger, they all stay in here. And in the final drawer is more stationery, but it's stationery such as Sharpies and felt tip pens and all my painting stuff. So colouring books and things stay in that drawer. And that is my desk. Move round from my desk, past the skylight, which has a blind on it so it can black out. I've got some plugs here plenty of plugs along there. I've got the book I'm reading at the moment, which is another dissertation reading one. I have my fan next to my bed, bookmarks, sleepy spray and sleepy lotion, some glasses cleaner, and in here are some more sports kit and underwear. Then I have my bed. I've themed everything around blue TARDIS and Ravenclaw type theme. My other bed sheets are white with TARDISes on them, so it all sticks around the blue and white sort of theme. Next to the bed is also this very handy dandy light, which comes in very useful for reading in bed. And I also do have some boxes under my bed, so if I <laughs> remove the yoga mat, I have three boxes. One with snacks in it, which doesn't actually have that much in it now that I'm at the end of the term. One with towels and bedding in it. And behind this rucksack that I use quite often is a bag of more bags and bits of toiletry that I've got extra of. Then around the corner of my bed, are all my shoes. 
my favourite new ones are these green boots from Heavenly Feet. But the ones I use most often are my black boots. But I also have some brown boots, trainers and some summer shoes. And that's everything in my room tour. Very excited to move into a house next year instead of being in university halls. This is the second year that I've been in university halls, but this time with returning students instead of freshers. And I do really love this room. It's been a fantastic room to stay in. Really quiet, plenty of light, and a fantastic place to do some reading in. And I'm really sad to let it go. Like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.